Here's what's making news now around Indiana. In Allen County, Parkview Health System is bringing two new facilities to the southwest side of Fort Wayne. The health system plans to build a medical office building and an outpatient center, which will be called Parkview Inverness, and encompass existing services already at the site, including cardiology, imaging, and podiatry. The new facilities will offer expanded outpatient to surgery options as well. And a unique one-year partnership between Indiana State University and the city of Sullivan starting to gain traction. The collaboration aims to provide opportunities for experiential learning and field work for students while uh, boosting sustainable sustainability and quality of life in Sullivan. Over the next year, ISU's Office of Sustainability will work with the city to assess what projects will be implemented and the scope of work. The projects will be completed by a Sustainable Cities faculty and ISU students. Well, Indiana is attracting attention as a popular tourist destination and was just named one of Frommer's uh, top places to visit around the world this year. That's why Visit uh, Indiana has unveiled the ultimate 2020 travel experience called the 20 in 20. With more on the places that uh, made the lists and the 20 lists that will be revealed throughout the course of the year, pleased to be joined by Indiana Office of Tourism Development Director Misty Weisensteiner. And uh, Misty, as always, welcome to the program. Thanks for having us. I mentioned off the top, uh, because I think it frames this discussion well, that Frommers came out and put Indiana, their 20 list of places to go around the world this year in 2020, and Indiana made the list. We did. Yeah. We're the only domestic location that made the list, yeah. um, and highlighting that was the Dunes, mm -hmm. the newest national park, and then Indianapolis too. So we're taking that a step further and saying those are great locations. You got to come see those, but there's so much more to see and do in Indiana. And I know that's behind this uh, uh, 20 in 20 list or a group of lists. Talk about the idea and, and what it's all about. It's to create awareness of all the product that we have in Indiana, drive traffic to our website, get people maybe re-familiarized with mm -hmm. things that they knew that existed but forgot about, get them to go back, or experience something new, something mm -hmm. they didn't even know was out there. Yeah, well, let's talk about, 20. these are 20 lists, and it really uh, is um, indicative of there's so many attractions around the state of Indiana. These are all themes, so I know you've released three themed uh, lists so far. One, cities, uh, towns under 20. 5,000. Yes, we're having so much fun with these lists too. They really are great. The first ones that was released is the small towns um, mm -hmm. under 25,000 mm -hmm. population, great main streets, shopping, um, local dining, things to do mm -hmm. um, all throughout the state. And then next was destination dining. Mm -hmm. um, we're very well known for our farm to fork, um, mm -hmm. very unique restaurants, you know, particularly in certain locations throughout the state. Yeah, what well, you mentioned uh, on those uh, cities lists, uh, I know Franklin was on the list, Corridon, there are a number of communities widening around the state of Indiana that are focused there, the destination dining. And that is, seems that farm to table uh, whole concept seems to be gaining traction here in Indiana as well. It does, you're yeah. starting to see them all across the state or restaurants that are known for a particular dish, such mm -hmm. as St. Elmo's and yes. their, their wonderful shrimp cocktail shrimp that cocktail, they have. Shrimp cocktail, absolutely. Uh, I know the third list, breweries. Just released, yes. yeah, this week. And that, uh, again, you talk about a growth industry. I think it's grown from 30 or 40 breweries to 130 plus. Yeah. So you've got lots, lots of options around the state of Indiana. You do, and the lists are in no particular order. Mm -hmm. They're just a list of 20. Um, we went to the Brewers Guild to help us come up with the list and also referred to our Best of Indiana contest that we've had. So it's a combination of industry specialists and then past voting on our website. You know, tourism, as you well know, is really big business in Indiana, and um, a big part of generating uh, more business in the sector, I've got to assume, is awareness, and awareness is what these 20 and 20 lists, I guess, are all about. It does, because, you know, Indiana is a big state, um, mm -hmm. a lot of miles between the north and the south, so we may not know in central Indiana necessarily what's what there is to do or what's happening in the north and south ends, and vice versa. Visitors spent a record $127 billion in Indiana, 3.7% uh, uh, increase. Uh, so what's next? Can you give us a hint of the next list coming out? Or? I think it's something we shouldn't tell our dentists about. 
Okay, that's a good that's a good clue right there. We'll look for that. And that comes out that list comes out when? Later on this month. And you can go to visitindiana.com slash twenty twenty mm -hmm. and that'll give you a breakdown of when all the lists are going to be distributed as well as some hints. And mm -hmm. then you can sign up for our newsletter as well uh, to get the, the newest news as soon as they are released. And then we have a contest, an Instagram contract contest. Um, hashtag the twenty and twenty. If you mm -hmm. go to one of these places, take a picture, put it on Instagram, and then we have a drawing for prizes. All right, very good. Misty Weisensteiner is the director of the Indiana Office of Tourism Development 20 and 20. Those lists will be uh, released throughout the course of the year. Misty, as always, thanks. Thank you. All right.